Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Back with another guide today on how to defeat a Valkyrie. So this Valkyrie is gonna be the Orlan Valkyrie, which is I've already butchered that name. I know that. Just let just let it go. Anyways, so this Valkyrie is Alfheim. It's number two on the list that I recommend you guys fight before fighting the other Valkyries. And if you haven't watched the video on number one, it's gonna be on the top right hand corner. I recommend you go watch it and um come back and watch this one. So basically with this one, a lot of stuff that I already said on part one is going to be set on part two and how to prep for the valkyrie so um if you watch the first part and you got pretty much all the shield that you need for the valkyries and you have gotten everything you need just want to know how to defeat this valkyrie i recommend you skip ahead to where i start talking about how to counter her and the actual gameplay anyways so before we start i really appreciate it if you left a like on this video and also sub to the channel i'll leave a comment down below on whether you found this helpful so let's begin First of all, before going to any Valkyrie, you need to go to Niflheim and get some armor. So basically all the armors that you need for this Valkyrie is at Niflheim. So what are the armors? Uh, the Mist, Deadly Armor, uh, Chest Armor, the Mist, Deadly Wrist Armor, the Mist, Deadly Wrist Armor. So how to get them from Niflheim? Basically you have to go to Niflheim after getting all the language ciphers and go to the Dwarf. In Niflheim, he'll ask you to get 500 Mist Echoes to get the entry stone for the main chamber. That's where the main shield is. So, you go around Niflheim and get some Mist Echoes by just killing the enemies and then opening some chests to get 500. So, 500 is so easy. You can get it from like maybe a quarter of a rotation and get 500. You go back to the dwarf, give it to him, and of course, you have to buy it from resources so you just go ahead to the dwarf go to your sources and then buy the entry stone it's gonna cost you just 500 mist echoes no money whatsoever so you go back and start collecting mist echoes by just going from the left and keep going left and left and left but be careful not to counter the valkyrie because she's in there as soon as you see her like you can see her in the distance before you go in just back out because you're not ready for that fight so basically just keep on rotating and you're hopefully gonna get between 600 six thousand and 8,000 missed echoes in one rotation and that's plenty I like cannot stress enough it's plenty for our task here so maybe one or two rotations will be just fine however if you want an extra advantage here you can upgrade your axe to the max by just getting up between 7,500 and 10,000 missed echoes just for that because you need to open some chest in the main chamber up there so for the armors, you don't have to get any Mist Echoes to open the chest for them. You just have to open their up there, just open some chest for free and, you, and you'll get the shield. However, it's gonna like, the sun's gonna say, oh, it's not usable, blah, blah, whatever. That's okay. You can take it back to a dwarf and give him some Mist Echoes and he'll fix that up for you. Now, as for the ice, it's easy. Just get between 7,500 and 10,000 Mist Echoes and go ahead and open some chests up there that cost Mist Echoes. That's why you need that, mu that much Mist Echoes. And hopefully after getting all those and getting some and getting like one or two rotations easily just go back to the dwarf and you have to buy the last part for upgrading your axe from from the resources and you gotta you're gonna get yourself level six the max level for the axe and they're gonna give you a ton of advantage against any valkyrie now i highly recommend you be at least level seven before fighting any valkyrie apart from the queen because the queen like level 8 and you have to be level 8 you don't have to be level 8 but okay it's recommended to be level 8 anyways you have to be at least level 7 because all the valkyries that i fought are level 7 and um makes your life much easier now as for the stocks that you have on your armors i don't have a specific recommendation for that because from what i understand here is it's free you can do whatever you want with yours because if you got to this part where in the story where you you, end, you finish the story and um, you got pretty much everything unlocked and you wander around the, um, the world and you learned a lot of stuff you have a good judgment on what to choose and what enemy to, enemies to fight if this was if the valkyrie were like in the beginning of the story yeah and people have to encounter them in the beginning yeah i would recommend some stuff to have like stocks but for this, I don't have any recommendation. Just stock as much stuff as you can that improves your runic, defense, fertility, 
and um, strength defense. That's basically it. And also some stuff that gonna give regenerate health. That's what the armors are for. All the armors can generate health for you. So you're pretty much set on your health in terms of if you get like a hit or two from any Valkyrie. Yeah, as I said, getting those um, stocks, I don't recommend for any stocks. I don't have a specific recommendation. And as for runic attacks, also I don't have a specific recommendation. You can watch my gameplay in a bit here to show you what um, runic attacks I used. And trust me, they work just fine. Any runic attack hopefully will be just fine with any Valkyrie. Now, as for the sun, what do you need to have for your sun is at least level. I don't know what level he is for, for the bow to get him maxed out, but at least close to a max with his bow and also four arrows. You at least need four arrows for this because it helps you a lot with the Valkyrie and gonna take out, take down some flying Valkyries. That's that's the main tip here. And also for the special attack for the boy, I think the best here is to have the ravens and, up and the ravens upgraded to the max because they stun the Valkyrie and gonna give you a ton of advantage to just go ahead and use all your runic attacks on her and it'll take her life just like way, way, way. The whole bar would just drop instantly. So that's my recommendation for the armor and the boy. So why the alpha and Valkyrie next? Easily because she's fast on the ground yeah this might might sound like a con but it's a pro and she doesn't fly so you don't have to worry about her getting up in the air and you have to throw your axe at her like the previous valkyrie or the rest of the valkyries so basically she's easy to predict is what i'm going what i'm getting at right now so some might argue that this valkyrie is easier than the first one that i recommended which is kara in the witch's cave but in my opinion, if you be a Kara, which is easy, easy, easy thing to do, if you watched my, pre my previous video, you saw how easily I took her down. This one is easy to predict, as I said, and, and also you can block pretty much all of her attacks that she throws at you. So she had different attacks. The one that might get you and you don't have time to, um, to block, it's the only one, is whenever she's a further away from you and then she like dives in, like not from above, but on the ground when she's on the ground she just takes out one of her wings and like stab you with it that's the only one that you cannot block and you have to do you just have to like move to the right you don't even have to like roll to the right just dodge it by going to the right a little bit moving to the right. and as you will see shortly in the gameplay it's such an easy Valkyrie to take care of and so predictable the other attack they have to take care of is was whenever she's spinning like a tornado you just have to have your shield up and it'll be fine if it's from a distance she'll like nails will go to you i think i don't know what they're called but um but if you're close to her and you have your shield up no worries there that attack will not even scratch you so let's dive into the gameplay let me guess there's a valkyrie in here yeah well are we gonna fight up there's a trap spirit in there quiet head. yeah please quiet good luck friends Enemies ahead. Point. Okay.
And we're done. Oh, gotta go. See ya. No worries, dude. Take, take, uh, take care, dude. Thank you. I am free. But why was I imprisoned? We think your queen did this to you. But why would Sigrun hinder our duty? That's the mystery we're trying to solve, milady. Can you think of any reason she would have to do this? No. Without the Valkyries, those who died in battle will not see Valhalla. Helheim will overflow with the souls of the departed and drown Midgard in a sea of vengeful corpses. No greater shame exists for a Valkyrie. I must go. Attempt to staunch the bleeding. Farewell. I believe you have your answer, Head.